Welcome to the Richard Lloyd USA YouTube channel. I'm Richard Lloyd. Today I had a question from one of the users that uh, watched my last video, which was uh, how to install DDWRT, a third-party firmware, on a WNR uh, 2000 version 3. And it was a very valid question, and I'm going to address that. Also, in this video, it's kind of an update to that video. I'm going to address uh, his question and also the speed issues I was having, which I completely solved and basically were my fault. And I was using a bad Ethernet cable to connect to my modem. And uh, don't re don't suggest doing Cat5 or Cat5e at this point. Use Cat5. Uh, sorry, use Cat6 or Cat6e for anything that you're using at this point. But regardless, uh, that fixed my issue, and I'll show you the speed test here in a minute. Uh, so you shouldn't have that problem that I had. But his problem was uh, a, a different one. Let's go take a look at what he said. Uh, again, thank you, Dr. Fidelius2009. There's a lot of advi uh, different advice on how to do this. Your advice got me a successful install of DDWRT on my WNR2000 version 3. Great, right? But first time at, DD, at the DDWRT screen, which is uh, the default screen you get when you first install DDWRT, you put your username and your password in, and then you enter the router. Now, if you mess that up, mistyped it or whatever, and then you actually managed to do it wrong, but get it to go, then uh, you'll be locked out of your router. In other words, you won't be able to log, in, log into your router anymore. But the usual solution for that is uh, to click on the back of the router on the factory restore settings port here. You just use a, like a toothpick and, you know, poke it in that hole. And then that's it. it, it basically, with the power on, you hold the reset uh, uh button down or you just poke a, a little toothpick in there and there's a button in there and you hold it down for 15 to 30 seconds i'd go 30 seconds and the, the unit resets and then you can go back in and, and put your username and password but unfortunately ddwrt disabled that i don't know why and maybe we should send them an email about that uh, but regardless you won't be able to to manually or physically uh, reset the router to the factory re, uh, uh, settings. So then you're stuck. You can't get into your router. Well, the solution for that is to just go backwards. I'll show you what I mean. Uh, go to this video, Fix Brick Netgear WNR on Brick uh, video. It's also a restore video, which restores the factory default uh, firmware into the into the router. So you do this. You restore it to the default uh, factory firmware, and then you upgrade again to DDWRT and do it, you know, your username and password correctly. That fixes it. And I explained that to Dr. Fidelius as well. Thank you for the question, for sure. Now, let's get to, uh, uh, well, I mean, also, uh, yeah, once again, with CAT, with, with these Ethernet cables, I make my own, and I just use this one because it was handy, and that was a mistake. Uh, this is Cat 5E. Don't use it. Use Cat 6 or 6E. And if you don't know what uh, category you have, it's usually printed right on the pay, on the uh, actual uh, installation of the of, of the cable itself. You'll see it. Uh, it says Cat. This one says Cat 5E. But uh, now I just use 6 or 6E. And in fact, I'm going to default to 6E in the future when I buy new. So it's faster, more reliable, and you're not going to have problems like that. So, and I also have a video on that, how to make your own cables, which is generally what I do. I buy 100 uh, feet of uh, Ethernet cable and then crimp the ends on myself. There's a video here. Again, put a link up there, the video description. The links will be there as well. And I'll put a card, like I said, and you can go watch that. It's pretty cool. And, I, you know, I don't buy cables anymore well, other than, you know, to make my own. Let's go do a speed test just to show you that this is working just fine. That's my last speed test. You see down here, I'm connected on uh, Ethernet only. If I click on that, you'll see Wi-Fi is off. So well, let's, let's do an Ethernet test first. Let's hit it. I'll use uh, University of Texas. And you can see that for a 100 megabit router, like the Ethernet ports don't go any faster than 100 megabits. I'm getting 93 megabits per second on my on my uh, internet connection. 94 there, as you can see. Plenty fast, completely acceptable for this router, which is the numbers you're supposed to get. Now, 40 megabits up is because my network uh, is a cable modem. 
um, sorry, my modem is a cable modem and it's capped at 40 megabits. So it's basically giving me the max it can give me no matter what I, uh, I connect to it right there. So decent. Um, let's go do one more for Fort Worth here. There you go. And the next thing we're going to do is connect to this on uh, Wi-Fi. And I'll show you a few tricks on that. Also, I, yeah, I forgot to mention on the reset. We'll let this run in the background. Um, if you go, if you do have access to your router and you want to reset it to the factory defaults for DDWRT, just go to the, uh, let's start at the status page here. Go to the administration tab, go to factory defaults and choose this radio button, uh, restore factory defaults and say yes. And then hit save and apply. I'm not going to do that because I'm running a test right now and I don't want to reset this router. So that would do it anyway. So there we go. 94.25, very similar. Let's disconnect from Ethernet. Let me get that. Okay, Ethernet cable is now detached. And you can see down here that we're not connected to anything. Uh, let's turn on the Wi-Fi. And I'm, I'm going to go check something on the Wi-Fi, make sure we're on the default settings. And no, we are not. There we go. All right. All right, so if you look at this screen, these are the default settings for Wi-Fi. When you install DDWRT, this is what you will get. Also, when you install DDWRT, before you do anything, go to the wireless security tab here and actually enable uh, WPA. I show you how to do that on the installation video for this third-party firmware. So uh, I'm not currently connected. There we go. And basically set it up. The way you see here, and uh, your w, your shared key is the is the user is sorry is the password for your uh, Wi-Fi. So let's go to a speed test because we're now connected to it. And same route, same server. I like Spectrum and Fort Worth for me that works really well. And uh, we'll just crank it up and see what we get. We'll also use the other one too. There we go. Um, yeah, it's okay, 72. It's way faster than it was on the original video. What I'm going to do uh, is actually uh, disconnect from Wi-Fi and reconnect to it. There we go. Disconnect it. See how it's still running even though I'm not connected. Um, so let's go connect on to Wi-Fi. There we go. DDWRT. There we go. Okay, I wanted to do that to reset the connection. Let's try it one more time. And I'll show you a little tweak on that wireless setting uh, to make it even faster. Okay, so yeah, we're in the same domain there. All right, 68, 64, not bad. But if you go over here to your wireless settings and do basic settings on wireless and change this from 20 to 40, the wide 40 megahertz, save, save and apply. And I usually reboot it, but this takes, it takes a while to do so. I'm going to disconnect here from Wi-Fi and uh, reconnect to it. I find that that makes it optimal. So reconnect to Wi-Fi. There's DDWRT, connect. Oops, hopefully it didn't disconnect me. Uh, I connect automatically. There we go. All right, so we're now connected again. Let's do this test one more time. Yeah, significantly faster, right? There we go. Now we're almost almost at Ethernet speeds on Wi-Fi. So the setting for that, uh, and it's just one little tweak, as I said, and I'll, we'll try this on, on the uh, uh, University of Texas uh, server, is right there, channel width, wide, 40 megahertz. Now that may, may or may not cause some compatibility issues with you. If it does, just set it back to the defaults and you're off. Uh, so, yeah, that's the speed issues. I wanted to, you know, definitely address those because, it, it, you know, basically uh, you want to get the best speed you can get out of this uh, router. And with the DDWRT, actually, you get faster than stock, I believe. Uh, stock firmware from Netgear, and you shouldn't be using that anyway. Let's go try this one more. See if it's any better. Yeah, see, that's why I use Spectrum in... in uh, Dallas Fort Worth. See that? That's just it, what the heck, right? There, now it's starting to speed up a little bit. Incredible. It does make a difference, which you wouldn't think it would, but it does. 
and change that back to Fort Worth. All right, that's it for my video. If you like this video and it helped you out in, in some way, please uh, subscribe to my channel. And uh, as part of that process, hit the bell icon so that you get notified every time I put up a, a new video. Also, give me a like, give me a big thumbs up down there. That helps me on uh, YouTube and uh, on the internet. Uh, and the comments section, as you can see, I read the comments questions any comments you may have for me put them in the comment section i'll respond uh, i'll look at them and you know basically uh it, if you got a video uh suggestion i really appreciate those put those in there and i sometimes do make those for people as well uh anything else you want to say to me put it in the comment section uh in the video description i'll put links for all this stuff uh, so you can get to it easy again cards up top as well and any links you see in the video description are usually affiliate links and what that means is that uh, when you click on the, those uh, pro on those links to buy the products that are there, uh, I get a little portion of that sale, but it doesn't cost you any more than just going directly to Amazon or eBay or whatever I have there and buying it directly. So you're helping me out by using those links. Please use them if you're going to do it. Uh, you know, buy any of this stuff. Uh, I appreciate it greatly. Uh, so that's it. Have a nice day. Uh, thank you for watching. Share like subscribe you know what to do uh, and we'll see you in the next video